Hello and welcome to Planting Joy Gardens. Welcome to Planting Joy Garden. I am harvesting out my spinach. It is starting to bolt, which means it's producing its flowers and seeds. Um, the temperature in my area is changing so drastically. Um, it was a cool week last week and it's a very warm week this week up in the 80s and as you know spinach does not like warm temperatures yesterday this spinach was perfect today it's bolting so I'm going to harvest it all out this spinach will be used for sauteing if you watched my last video I prepared um, bok choy and tot soy, tot soy and so now it will be sauteed spinach I'm also noticing that there are some carpenter ants in this bed so before they start bringing aphids I am going to just remove all of my spinach um, the lettuce is doing pretty good and this is a red leaf lettuce which means that it can tolerate more sun and more heat so I'm gonna let it stand for a little while okay And this is my spinach harvest here. And the leaves are starting to lose color. So it was, a, it was time to do a fertilizer feeding for the spinach. But instead of feeding it, I'm just going to harvest. Okay, so this is my spinach. So now it's time to plant. Uh, first things first, we're going to loosen the soil and then I'll be adding fertilizer. Fertilizer, granular, leafy green vegetables are heavy feeders, so this is a container, they probably depleted pretty much everything in this planter. So I'm going to be planting up two sides of this, and I'm going to leave the lettuce standing for now because it's in great condition, it looks nice and healthy except for the places where I actually cut. We're going to add some nutrients back in here. Okay. I will be planting this quite densely because I am in a container and I have control. So and
four, which is the first nickel. And I like to do belly bean flat. Like which way is up on the bean? If you're not sure, just plant it flat. Just don't plant it vertical. Now we're going to do a few. That way. And then you'll notice that the wax beans have black markings. So we're going to do a few of those. Okay, so as you can see, they're in their holes. The booster and drop it in the hole right on top of the bean. You can um, wet it first in a glass of water and pour that water that has been inoculated with the bean booster into the hole. Um, but I prefer to just start with damp soil. And now I'm just going to cover it over. And we have beans planted. Now I'm going to go to the other side and put the beans in. Green beans. Okay, now on this side of the container, same thing. I'm going to nourish the soil by putting a balanced fertilizer. And a balanced fertilizer will, be, will do just fine. Um, because leafy greens are, are nitrogen users. And as you know, green beans are nitrogen fixers, which means that they will pull nitrogen from the sky and make it available to the plants in the soil. So, but beans need to start off in a nutrient-rich soil. Okay, so you can't deprive them of nitrogen initially. They need that nitrogen to get started until their roots are mature enough to fix the nitrogen on its own. So actually I'm going to plant this at an inch depth, which is my first knuckle. First knuckle is about an inch. Okay. And I plant them densely, laying them flat or umbilical up. Okay. And that was normal green beans. And now for this one. Okay. 
and the bean booster again. 